Hey guys, let's talk about Roach today. Today I'm going to I'm going to talk about Roach because in here in my country, tarantulas, ants, reptiles like leopard geckos, bearded dragons, and other lizards like blue tongue skink, fire skink, tarantulas, scorpions. They are getting and getting more famous and more and starting to have a lot of people joining into the hobby. So I want to make simple for them to let them pick their feeders. Well, there are a lot of feeders out there like mealworms, superworms, waxworms, roaches. I roaches. I mean dubias, dubias, uh, turkey stand, Madagascar he ro- Madagascar he's in roach, Madagascar dwarf roach. These two roaches, Madagascar hissing roaches, are for ant colonies. For me, I prefer feeding my. I prefer feeding my Madagascar hissing roach to a fire ant colony that's really, 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 really big fire ant colony. Because they will need a lot of protein and they will reproduce faster. So, I'm going to talk about two roaches today it's Dubias and Pakistan. Okay. Within these two, if you guys want to know my roach collection, you get Turkey Stans, Dubias, Madagascar Hissing Roach, Rough Species, here you go, Rough Species, in this little small container, and Madagascar Hissing Roach, normal. You can see they are right there. Wait. I will cover my Madagascar Hissing Roaches in another, in another video. Today I'm going to talk about these two. Nubias, this stand. So in this so in here, a lot of people will, will recommend will recommend us feeders for big for feeders is turkey stands or Nubias because they are easy, it's easy, easy to care low maintenance and they are easy to breed high in protein well they are they have their they have their pros and cons with these two let's talk about dubias first dubias they breed really slow they breed they breed really slow because they are they are not egg laying actually they lay egg their they lay their eggs first the female lay their egg become a uh, how to say I forgot brood uh, a brood brood sack I brood sack then the female will suck it back suck it back in to a special con- compartment in her body called brood brood compartment I think brood compartment brood sack I forgot what it's called already brood something so the eggs will be in there for 30 to 60 days, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry if I say any, anything wrong. 30 to 60 days, I think they were born. Once born, they will usually come out 12 plus. 12, 12 plus. Small dubias, white in color, very cute. And they are good because they are high in protein, move very slow, so if they escape, you can easily catch them up. They, they have a lot of sizes, from little small, 1cm, to really big. So you can feed a lot of stuff with it, like how to say, uh, Goliath bird, bird, go, Goliath's bird eaters, Te- Terra Fossa, Sturmy, Terra Fossa, Blondie, and all the and all the bird eaters out there, like Bazian Giant. Or they need high protein. You can give them high protein with this. Also, and colonies, and you can also cover with, with this. And colonies also their food how to their food is easy for me I j- I've roast chow and water gel and sometimes I will I will give them protein by by throwing in some dog 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 food dog food for them how do you breed them easy get more females than males and at least have hundred plus when you buy it by hundred plus and at least at least two two males and five to six females. In why do we need one hundred? Because with that we can have a stable colony, a stable roach colony. 
and they will break best on 90 Fahrenheit. 90 Fahrenheit degrees. You can do you, you can done that by using a rep, reptile heating pad. Just buy an envelope at the side here. Put one place so they have cool area and hot area. You just unboot under here and, and then just let it heat up. And this will how to say faster their reproduction. I think that covers the dubias. Oh yeah. Yeah, cons is they like to play it. How can I explain? How do I explain this? Okay, so tarantulas, they have a lot of hairs. Means they use they use movement. They use the movement surrounding them to sense where their prey item is. So when you drop a dubia, you will only run like a couple of steps, and it will just stop there. It likes to play dead. Or if your tarantula don't have enough time to hook, use his fangs and bite him, they are pretty good diggers. They dig pretty fast. So you might have to use your tweezers, go into the soil and pick it up, which is quite bad. How can I say? If you are Bachipama Habari, Bachipama Abobolism, Avacularias, uh, how do you say? Any more like Bomi, Vegans. All the beginner babies will say yeah, or be beginner species, they are docile, they won't they will not try to attack the tongs. They will just stay in there and just try to avoid the tongue. Tweezers, why did I say tongs? Tweezers. If you are on the other hand, cobra blues. Orange rabbit tarantulas. Chilo budges, SP Kang Kajang, Thailand Black. Uh and, and all the aggressive species like I think just that like SG Blue, I think SG Blue is not that, it's not that defensive Skeleton Tarantula and the rest of them you try to go in and pluck one out oh, they will two things will happen and three things will happen one stand and fight when you stand there front four legs run out trap posture for you, show you the fangs Trap posture, trap posture. Second, bite the tweezers and bolt. When they bolt, you don't have the cover on. Like you choose to open your enclosures cover like this. The how? What can I do? Example. Let's use like the phone. The tarantula just from here. Bolt out, and you have to chase the whole house for it. Old world is quite fast. They are fast runners. Old world. And. If you are like this, open this cap, maybe it won't get out but you will get lucky if you stay inside. So they are pretty defensive. And the third thing will happen, they won't stand, they won't fight, they should bolt. Which is pretty scary. When they bolt, it's like a nightmare in real life. You have to ready a cash cup, always ready a cash cup if you want to dig the dubias out. Because dubias have to play dead, sometimes you have to need to agitate them in order, in order for them to move. So this is the bad part of dubias. I think that's all I cover it. Remember, if your if your tarantula is not docile, you have to dig for the dubias. Prepare for some fang action on your tweezers. Next, let's cover. Oh, some. Some brushes, some brushes, shading. Next, let's cover my Turkestan colony. This is just a small colony. I will not try to take them out for feeding yet. And because I, they are not that big yet, you can see I have two males here, female, and this one still not mature yet. So I have two males, one female, and hopefully I have more females coming out. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention Between these two This is slow breeders They are really slow they, they, Their reproduction rate is very slow This is very fast Because this one They pick to put inside their Boot pouch Yes, I got it right Boot pouch They will incubate them Their, their boots in their boot pouch On the other hand This They are So cold they have a lot of nicknames. Red Runners, 
for me, very runners is good. Second thing, I like I like the content is egg laying machine. Break fast, let egg let it pretty fast. And babies come out and babies come out very fast. This is what I love because they are they're breeding fast, they breed fast. And that's all about pros and cons. First, when you try to feed them, they are good. You try to aim, they will not pay that, they'll just run. They are corporate runners for a reason, they will run. When they run, John Chula's hairs can feel them, straight away bite. Which is pretty nice. And their protein is lesser than them, but I do prefer them. Oh yeah, I forgot. They, them are pretty smelly, they are enclosures. It's quite smelly. But on the other hand, dubias, orderless. For some, I don't know, I don't know why they are orderless. They, are, they also come a lot of shapes, but I like their names, their babies. Let me show you for a second. Okay, so this is their babies, right in here. I'm gonna put my face first here. This is all their babies. They are quite small. What I love about their baby is they are small. If you are like me, I prefer keep chanchulas from slings to adult. But I also have my expect exceptions like oh my god, silent break. Sorry. So you guys. So like, how to say if I bachi bama bachi bama I won't I, I won't stray away from slings. I'll just buy and sub adult or adult at least two to three inch. Because more they all they are really 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 slow growers. When goes like OBT, this is very really su this is very really suitable for them. I like them because they are small and they reproduce them very fast so if I have a lot of slings I don't, I don't worry that much this colony is new, still new it is in my incubator if, if you guys don't know what, what my incubator is it's like my collection area one small sh one is a shelf one small uh, how to say it? compartment at the lower left there like at the lower left there's a compartment right there which I keep the things that I don't want to touch inside I would say yes they are one male and two female both females are pregnant gravid I think I, I, I think I think in, in this hobby we call it gravid so if they are too if if these guys too stressed out, they will abort their egg pouch, egg sac. I don't know, I don't know what it's called. Which is bad. This one got aborted one as you can see. He came out. Let me try to get this is a meal. This is a roach. This one. He is friendly. For some reason he's not scared today. I like I like them. So I just my incubator, this is the place where and that's where I store them. And my founding queens. I also got keep, I also have keep, keep ants. So that's the place where founding queens we try we try not to disturb them as try not to disturb them as much as possible. It's like if you have some really really hard species like Kebara Nervosa, Trap Jaws, what more what more, Poriwajis ants. They are quite sensitive and they need to have their very very nice conditions in order to lay their eggs and produce their roots. Which I feel once on my polyrachis. Now in my incubator I have five. I have six. I think I have six. Yes, I have I have six colonies six colonies in my in incubator on the queen zone. One ran away, I opened the test tube. Just both out for some reason, but I feel like she's 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 in, she's infertile. She's a normal addict because what can I say? For straight one month, she didn't lay any eggs. And for and I will talk about them later in another video. I don't know. I don't know. Drag this topic as too too far away. So for if you ask me, which do I prefer? I prefer them because. I just prefer them. I don't know why. They are pretty good feeders for me. 
fast reproduction. They have good sizes. One adult is equivalent to three crickets. This one adult is equivalent to six crickets. So you guys can see the difference right there. One is three, one is six. But cons, this one a bit slow. This one a bit fast. So you can have. So you can have the idea. So between these two. I chose to have two because I can mix around with them, mess around with them. Because this colony is quite stable right now, this is not. When this colony is stable, this colony I think I'll just leave it, leave it in, in, in my collection area in case I ran out of turkey stands or just normal or just feel like being do just let me do that one. Dubias or Turkey Stands? Me on Turkey Stands. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of other feeders out there. Like mealworms, as I said in the beginning of the video, mealworms, me mealworms, superworms, crickets. But I do not prefer crickets. I hate crickets. Why? When they die, their carcass. Smells bad. Really, really, really disgusting. Really bad. So, as I like to do, if I feel like feeding crickets, I'll go to the shop. Like my last video, I go to Exo, Exo, Exo Reptiles. Just buy crickets. Go home. Guard load them for 24 hours. Then I feed. I see that. I don't I don't want to breed them. Because they are really smelly when they die. But this one is mainly on their own, but I don't find that I deserve them. They are really, really good. I think you guys have the base idea of which one you guys would like. Lubias or Turkey Stands. Let me go through. Let, let, me, let me go through one more time. This one. Produce low. Produce really low. Slow. Higher protein than Turkey Stand. One adult is equivalent to 6 crickets. Uh, what, what, any, anything else, anything else, anything else. In, and they like to play dead, which is really, which is really, I don't, I don't like it when I play dead. I think that's all. This egg, egg laying machine for this ready fast. Babies can fit a lot, can, can fit slings. When they escape, they run really fast, that's a con. But when you try to feed them, they, they will run around the, they will run around the tranchal enclosure or, or leopard giggle enclosure. <laughs> they are more likely be spotted and be eaten. Also, their babies. I can feed to mantis. Yeah, I have a mantis. Mantis is my mascot for my channel. That is my star animal. Because when I decided to start YouTube, YouTube, well, with me was my only mantis. Before this, I have I, I, a lot of tarantulas, twelve of them to be exact. All are really. Really high price and really really nice tarantulas. Old worlds and new worlds cannot handle every cannot except for two. Rosia, RCF and Majma Hamori. The rest cannot 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 hold. Cannot handle. Really dangerous. So after I get back and then this year for some reason I feel like coming back. I have some of my friends motivate me to go YouTube. So I was like, okay, I'll go YouTube. Then at the time I'll I'll only have my mantis, so I tell that mantis is my mascot. And my friend says it's a possible free meal, so they will live longer. I'm very happy, and I'll end. I think that's a wrap for this video. Lubias or Turkey Stands, comment. You guys can write your idea down below on the comment section. Which guys, which one you like the most, or any fact that I left behind, you guys can comment down down below. And. Let, let other beginners know which to pick Pakistan or Dubias Personally, Team Pakistan for me I like that As always, thanks for watching Hope you guys enjoy my video Hope you guys understand between these two roaches Be ready for my next video about this and this I will cover, cover it in other videos And videos 
is coming up soon. MVOC is coming back. It's coming up soon. I think that's all. Thank, thanks, guys. Bye. Hope you enjoy and subscribe. Remember to subscribe. My subscribe. Bye.